Hello everybody, Steve here. Welcome to Offbook version 4.0 new features. This is a new feature video for Offbook version 4.0. If you are a new user, please stop the video right now, scroll down, go to the screencast for 3.0, screencast 1, 2, and 3, which will teach you how to use the app, how to create work scenes, characters, record your lines, and rehearse. When you're done with that, come back up here and check out the new features for 4.0. To my old users, uh, you know how everything works. It's pretty much the same, except I got a couple of new things to show you. Okay, let's go into a work here. We're going to go into chess. I'm going to record line for it. I've got a line here for Anatoly. I'm going to record one for Freddy. This is a line for Freddy. I'll save it. I'm going to record one for Anatoly. This is a line for Anatoly. And then I'm going to record an, uh, another one for Anatoly. How about that? Come back here. Another line for Anatoly. All right, so see these new pluses here? Say, for example, you get through an entire scene and you realize, oh, I wanted to insert a line between here. This is supposed to be another Freddy line between these two Anatolies. You could have recorded it later before, and it would hit the bottom, and then you could rearrange the lines and bring it all the way up. It's kind of cumbersome. So a user asked if I could do a line insert feature. Yes, and that's what these plus signs are. If you want to insert a line after this Anatoly and before this one, just hit the plus sign on the line that you want to do the insert. Um, before, after, I'm not quite sure how to say this. <laughs> okay, hit the plus sign, record the Freddy line. This is the Freddy line, and then it saves it. So then it's recorded between the two Anatolies. So if you hit the plus sign on this on the the line that you hit the plus sign on, it will add uh, insert the line after it immediately after it. So let's say we want to insert a um, an Anatoly line up here right after Freddy, Freddy's, for example. We would just hit this plus sign, switch to Anatoly. Record a line. This is a line for Anatoly. Okay. And then I save it. And it inserts it. All right? You can still rearrange like you always used to. That all that all works great. And this plus sign here, which you were using for record before, it still works, but it will put the line at the bottom like it always did. So if I come up here and I record, this is a line for Freddy. And I save it. Boom. There it is. Puts it at the bottom. All right. So I'm going to delete some lines. I want to show you guys a couple of things here that, that are new. So we've got the two Anatoly lines there, right? Okay, remember that. If you go over to the new help tab, you'll see the tutorial videos that I'm doing here and here. And now you probably saw this link too, this contact Steve link. If you guys want to send me a note, hey, Steve, how are you doing? Uh, love the app, got some questions, got some suggestions, blah, blah, blah. Here's a million dollars, whatever you want to do. Uh, you contact me through there. This switch here, didn't know where else to put it, so we're going to leave it here for now, called Continuous Record. What is that? Well, I'm going to turn it on and show you. Continuous Record was a feature that somebody had asked me for because they thought it was too cumbersome, you know, to come into the screen, to record the lines, come back, come back in, record the line, go back. Okay, so Continuous Record was born. When you come into here and Continuous Record is on, it will not make you leave the screen. It will save the line. So, see how we've got here two Anatolies? The next line is going to pop down here for the Freddy. So I'll show you how it works. This is a line for Freddy. And I stop and I save. Boom. It says saved. Now let's do an Anatoly. This is a line for Anatoly. Stop. Save. Freddy. This is a line for Freddy. Stop. Save. I, get, I think you get the point. You hit back and all your lines are there. So... Uh, I hope you like it. It's a feature somebody asked for. It made a lot of sense. I mean, if you want to rip through something really quick, um, I did it this way initially so that you could, you know, always hit the, the play burst buttons here to hear where you're at. If you're if you're using Line Sync, if you are using Line Sync, which is another, the next new feature for 4.0, the continuous record will not function in Line Sync yet. I'm trying to find out a good way to make that work. That will become obvious why later when you check out Line Sync. And that brings me, what a segue, to my last feature. Last new feature is Line Sync. Okay, so Line Sync. Line Sync is a new feature for 4.0 that will enable um, actors to synchronize their lines between other people uh, who are invited to your show, other cast members. So, for example, when I first started this app, uh, people were telling me, we love it, it's great, but as I'm playing Arthur in the show, I have to record my lines into my phone get Guinevere and the Knee Knight to say their lines into my phone, and then get Guinevere's phone and say my lines in her phone and have the Knee Knight say the, and then we have to keep going to everybody's phone and we, you know, it's taking a lot of time. And I kept saying, well, that's good. You guys are rehearsing. <laughs> you know, keep saying the lines over and over again. It's a good thing. But people said, hey, is it possible to be able to share these lines, like synchronize them between all these phones? 
Yes, I built it. It's called Line Sync. It's taken me a few hundred hours to build. That's why I've been gone for so long. I haven't uh, been making videos because I've been doing this. So how it works is you subscribe to Line Sync. It's a 30 days Line Sync subscription. It's a dollar ninety nine for a show. Uh, you probably I don't know if you're. I've got a whole bunch of shows in here, but I don't know if more people are using more than one show at once. But it will last for 30 days and then turn off. Uh, why is it an in-app subscription? Because the cloud storage and the transfer of the data costs money. Uh, it, it isn't free. I, I'm paying for it. So um, the subscription works when you, you turn it on, um, you get billed a dollar ninety nine, and then you can synchronize your lines for 30 days for a show. And then it will just turn off. It will not renew. It will not auto-renew or anything like that. It's a one-time 30-day thing. If you want it to renew, after when it gets close to renewal time, a little renew button will pop up there, and you can click the renew if you want to renew. Um, typically, uh, you actors are smart. I know how it works. I mean, you'll be done with this in two weeks. You'll have everybody's lines in your phones, and, and, and you won't even need 30 days, but I'm giving it to 30 days. Uh, it will remain in the cloud uh, for longer than that, uh, probably maybe 45 days or so, in case somebody forgets to renew and they want to renew and won't get deleted. You know, Once the subscription runs out for Line Sync, your work will remain on your phone. It will be on your phone forever. So, well, not forever, if, as long as you don't delete it or lose your phone or whatever. But it will remain on your phone. It will just stop updating with other people's phones, so it won't vanish. Uh, for example, when um, Raisin in the Sun goes to zero and Line Sync expires, it'll still be in my phone unless I delete it. Uh, it just won't be syncing with the other actors anymore. So that's what Line Sync does. Um, you can see when you, oh, you see that there? When I came back, all of those little spinners, those are the cloud syncs happening for all of these works that are in green. So let me go back here and come back so I can show you. Yeah, see? That was uh, all those works that are in green are Line Sync works that are syncing with the cloud right now. So if somebody was recording lines for Romeo and Juliet, they just synced up with my phone and I could go into the, to the scene and hear their new updates. So there's a video on Line Sync. It's below. Uh, it's brand new. So let me know if, if it's if you have questions, issues, concerns. Um, there's a whole Line Sync overview video that I made on how it works. And d do definitely please watch that video before before subscribing to a Line Sync to make sure it's make sure Line Sync is right for you. You know, and uh, that you understand it and how what I'm doing here. Um, I'll make some several more videos on on that. But the overview is down below. As always, guys, uh, let me know. Uh, contact me. Questions, comments. Uh, keep sending them to me, uh, even if you just want to say hello, because I love it. Thanks so much. Take care.